Good morning dear students. Hope you all are well. Today I am going to teach you a new chapter. Chapter 4 that is being a good citizen. Students, when a person performs his duties towards the country and thinks about the welfare and welfare being and he is called a good citizen. You know, a good citizen care for private as well as public property. You know, that a good citizen should be responsible. Then only he becomes a good citizen. A good citizen is someone who participates and in the functioning of the society and he or she is aware of his surroundings and fulfills his or her duties towards the society and as well as the country. A responsible citizen has various social and moral responsibilities. Okay? Responsibilities of a good citizen are he or she must respect national symbols such as the national flag and the national anthem. Then after respect national symbols yeah, already I explained. Then after they have to pay, uh, pay taxes regularly and vote responsibly during the elections. Preserve public property. Follow the rules and regulations of the country and conserve the environment. Then after taking care of pub private property first. Public property and private property. We have to take care of both. Okay. You know student private property is what that belongs to you. You have full right over it like your pencil, you know, books, etc. And nobody else can use them without your permission. You take care of these things and maintain them properly. Similarly, some things just like TV, mo uh, motorbike, car, house, etc. are owned by your parents. So, you do have rights to use this. But it is the duty of the family members to take care of the things owned by the family. Students, you know private properties are places or buildings owned by individual persons or cooperatives. The owner of a private property has the right to use, occupy or sell his or her property. The house or place we live in is our own property. Okay. And therefore, it is called private property. Just as we protect our things, you know, and our property, we should also protect our public property. Then after public property, things just like road, railways, park, monuments, etc. are not our personal property. They belong to the state or central government. Okay, who kis kaise belong karta hai? Who state se ya phir central government se belong karta hai? So, these are called the public property. Public property belongs to public and public refers to all the citizens of the country. Yes, so public property is there for you to enjoy the benefits. Therefore, you should take full care. Okay, such property is built for the use and convenience of all. Every particular citizen of a country should take care of the public property. Let us take the case of school. You can take the case of your school. You can call your school that my school. You are right in saying so because a school belongs to all the children who study there. You know, so you take care of your school and school properties. Similarly, you should consider the public property as your property and take full care of it. So, the maintenance, protection and preservation of the public property is the duty of every citizen. 
Yes, public properties are places and buildings owned and taken care of by the government. They are called public properties because uh, they have been established for the use and benefit of the people. The government maintains and takes care of such type of properties and these include just as road and bridges, you know, then after public transport, old heritage buildings just like monuments, museums, uh, trains, buses, railway stations, bus stations, airports, government hospitals and parks. Yes, the Red Fort and the India Gate in Delhi, Taj Mahal in Agra, Victoria Memorial in Kolkata and other such places are public properties and which are looked after by the government through various organizations. Okay? Individuals cannot buy or sell this type of public properties. Okay. Thank you students. It's all for today.